Triangle from 2009 movie review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little movie review on a movie called Triangle from 2009. Now, I found a list of movies that were basically double twists or movies that had more than one twist. I saw this one called Triangle from 2009, actually rated pretty highly, you know what I mean? I think it was like a 6.9. This movie is just almost like a mind-bendy movie in and of itself. This girl has a daughter and I guess they're going on this boating trip or something. So they go on this boating trip, they're on like a sailboat, randomly the wind dies and there's just no wind anywhere else they see a boat coming up the last little teaser that i will give about the style of this movie it is kind of in the realm of groundhog day and it is kind of in the realm of tenant but it definitely does not follow the same exact rules as those having seen tenant made me guess of a little bit of these twists in here it is actually a very unique idea one of the things I really liked about this movie is it starts off very grounded, very just classic and generic, and it slowly turns into this super, super sci-fi movie. It does it at this brilliant pace. You know, I almost think the, the intro is a little bit boring. I do think the actors, although they're good, they're definitely not perfect. So there is a little bit of slowness in the beginning, a little bit of genericness. Somewhere near the end, it just turns into this sci-fi only mind-bendy masterpiece, and you're kind of on board for the whole thing. It was just a nice pace between the simple opening to the super sci-fi mind-bending kind of ending. I really liked the flow to this. The two things that I would say that I didn't really like about this movie are kind of like the acting is a little bit generic mainly in the beginning and some of the shots it almost seems like it's shot with this really light yellow frame. I feel like none of the colors popped. It just seemed very generic and very simple in the beginning. And the only other thing I could say that I didn't like about this movie was you end up with more questions than answers. You know, one of the things I don't like about Christopher Nolan normally is that he describes way too much about the film. Basically, it doesn't let you put anything together on your own. He makes sure to tell you, no, this is connected and this is connected. And when you have something as crazy as Tenet, it was almost nice for him to kind of give a little bit of explanation about things. He didn't even explain everything in there because it's such a complex movie, but he tried to make things make a little bit of sense. You know, what's going on, who's doing it, you're trying to understand these sci-fi rules and you start getting later on to it. And you're like, okay, I kind of understand what's going on. I have no idea why anything's going on. I don't know what the whole purpose is. I don't know if there's going to be an ending, but I kind of see what's going on. And then it kind of leaves with much, much more questions than answers. And I do think that what you showed us was so complex and it made no sense to a certain extent by making it make even less sense at the end. I wish it was a little bit more meaning or a little bit more understanding about what is actually happening and what is actually going on versus it's just almost like a never-ending mind-bendy dream with almost no rules whatsoever. I would say this movie lacks a little bit in style, a little bit in entertainment, especially in the beginning, but if you're somebody like me who wants to watch like a, a very complex movie, a movie that you haven't seen before, a movie that's going to keep you guessing, keep you wondering, something that especially before Tenet you had never seen before, I really enjoyed this movie. I feel like it challenged my brain and that's kind of the, the movies that I like the most or most of the time you know sometimes I do like to relax and I like to watch something that's close to home that relaxes me but most of the time when I'm watching a movie I want to see something I haven't seen before I want to see new interesting ideas and I do think that's what this movie is if I was gonna rate it I was gonna probably rate it about an 8.5 but then once I got to that ending and it left it a little bit kind of more questions than answers I feel really solid with an 8 out of 10 on this one I do think if I was gonna say buy try or pass it's weird I would say this is a really 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 strong try I don't know if I would ever own it but it's really interesting if you're somebody who just has felt like you've seen it all you like kind of mind bendy stuff and you've seen everything out there this one is actually pretty good it definitely challenged my brain it definitely did some things I've never seen in film before which I really do appreciate so an 8 out of 10 for me but anyways guys have you seen triangle have you not seen triangle did you see tenant did you not see tenant I'll be very interested to see I actually really like tenant but anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace